Go. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Donna at WithEmbroidery.com. I wanted to show you today, um, we've had some questions on our easy needlework um, scroll frames. So I wanted to show you what we have. So we have tons of them. We have extra rods for if you have a bigger project. Everything in the collection is easier, is, is um, what am I trying to say here? It all works together. So whether you have sidebars or rods or whatever, they all work together. So they come with rods, some are in sets, so you get the rods, the sidebars, and the knobs, and some tape as well. And um, so really you can go from um, size 6 all the way up to size 48, so it will fit any project. So come this way and I'm going to show you how to put together a lap stand. So if you notice in our videos, I'm always using a scroll frame because I love it. It's the biggest best thing that I have ever used with my embroidery. So I love it. So this is the lap stand. So everything you need comes in here. All of the knobs. Now the, for the lap stand, this is the only way you can get the legs. So you can buy other rods and you can buy other sidebars and stuff, but you can't buy the legs separately. You have to get the lap stand in. So let me show you how easy it is to put together. Um, the best part of the stamps, I think, is that they use the no basting system. But I will show you how what that is in just a minute because that's just great. Okay, so everything comes ready to be put together. Let's see. Open up. So literally, I mean, everything is just really easy to put together. You don't, you don't even really need anything other than what you have. You don't need a screwdriver or anything. So the um, lapstone comes with um, 20 inch rods. So that's a really great size um, for lots and lots of different projects. So it will fit almost any size project you have. Um, and then the sidebars are great because they are big enough that you can do almost any size project this way as well. Um, depending on if you like a, a wider or narrower um, width to stitch on. So I'm going to put them a little bit closer together because the project I'm going to put on here isn't all that long. So... So you don't need different size sidebars for different projects? No, uh -uh. You can use these same sidebars um, for all kinds of different projects. Just bring them in closer. You can see they've got lots of different um, lengths that you can do, um, that you can bring it in, um, depending on how you know tall your project is. Um, what I like to do is when I'm stitching, I like a closer width. But when I'm done stitching and I want a bead, I will make it as wide as possible. And that way I'm not rolling my beads up as I'm working, um, as I finish it. So they're all nice and the, the whole width of it. So that's what I like to do. Okay, so then we will take our screw here. And they can go, the, the legs are adjustable. You can go any height you want. Oh, hello. It would help to put the screw in here first. So, screw in here. And then this little block right here. And then put it right there. So, now, again, they can go any height for whether you're on a table or if you're sitting on the couch. Um, you know, you play with it until you find... How com what what height is comfortable for you? So if you have a smushy couch that the legs go down a bit, then make it taller. So there we go. How easy and fast was that? Okay, so let's say I am stitching at a table, but I don't want to lean forward. I would take my legs and put them back here, and then that would make the whole thing come towards me instead of me going towards it. So, 
That's the lap step. Okay, so let me tell you about the no basting system. What it is, is they have this amazing Velcro on the rods, and then in your kit, you also get a roll of it, okay? So what you do is you put it right on your fabric. What I like to do is I will um, fray my fabric so I have a straight line, and then I will place my tape. It's super, super sticky, so it's only one use. And I place it just a couple rows above that, and now I know that I have complete even tension from top to bottom. So now, all I have to do, oh, also, I put it on the front of my fabric, because when I put it on my scroll frame, I want the back to be what's getting dirty and not the front. I want to protect the front. I want to keep it clean. So, now I will just simply lay the Velcro there. Lay my Velcro there. Scroll it up here. And then scroll. And I like really tight tension. And with this, you can go really, really tight. And I, that's what I like. I like tight, tight tension. So now I have got tension top to bottom the whole way across. The back side of my embroidery will get dirty, not the front. The front will be protected. With my lap stand, I can stitch two-handed. I um, we have the magnet or the um, mighty bright lights that you can clip on, and the light will come right over it. We also have the um, uh, scroll rod covers that go right over this, so you can protect it while you're working on it. So, any questions? Do you sell the extra tape? Yes, I run out. we do. We actually sell, yes, we sell the extra tape in a uh, bag. So, because it's not reusable, the, extra, the tape on the fabric. You'll want to cut that off before you take it to the framer. So, we do sell extra tape for your projects. We also sell extra tape for the rods. Oh, thank you. So, extra tape for the fabric is $12. And extra tape for the rods is also $12. Not that you'll need it for the rods because all the rods come with it already on. Um, but if you want like a, you know, extra workspace, I guess, you could get put it, put it on your rods. Um, so, but yes, you do get extra tape because you can put that on each new project. So also, do you need to buy, do you need to get extra fabric so that you have no. room to put the tape on? No, I, I always do three inches all the way around on my fabric when I get my fabric. And the tape is like a half an inch, if that. It's small. So you really don't need to get any extra fabric. If you do, maybe like a half an inch. <laughs> but that's about it. And you would only want that top and bottom. But I've never had a need for it to get extra fabric because I'm already getting my three inches when I go all the way around, so yeah. So make sure you, we will post a link to the lap stand and of course all of our other um, easy needlework products, as well as our um, quilted scroll frame covers and such. So how much does it cost? This little beauty is $85.50, um, but we will be putting it on sale, so make sure you click on the link and go to our website and see the sale price. And all of the other items will also be on sale as well. So you can get, like I say, they come anywhere from 6 inches rods to 48 inch rods. I've had one lady that did the 48 inch. She literally had to do it on her bed <laughs> and move herself as she finished the project because she was doing a very large project. I love this row frames. Just because, I mean, your fabric doesn't ever get dirty, not like a hoop. A hoop, you're like smooshing all your fabric together and holding it, and your hands get it all dirty. This, your hands barely touch. Um, it's just, it's nice and clean, and you can take this right off the scroll frame to the framer. You don't even need to wash it, because unless you spill chocolate on it, it's not going to get dirty. <laughs> so, any other questions? Okay. Sounds great. Well, thank you very much. I hope this helped. And